Hi, I'm Rachel, and this video is going to show how to use a Maytai with a newborn. This is Zanito's Maytai. Um, Zanito's gave us a great discount for this one on our, for our baby wearing group. A Maytai is just a carrier with two short straps and two long straps. And I'm going to start by taking the decorative panel and facing it toward me and kind of tying it on like an apron. Now since I'm going to be using this carrier with a newborn, I want to think about a couple of things. First off, I want to think about how tall my newborn is. And when I hold her, her bottom is about here and her head is about here. So I don't want to tie my tie really low or else my baby will be really low and I won't be able to kiss her easily. So I'm going to tie it high. The other thing I want to think about is her height. She's pretty short and this is a pretty tall carrier. So I'm going to actually roll the waist on this to make it a little shorter. And it takes a little problem solving to figure out how much to roll the waist. So I actually tried this a few minutes ago. You know, I tried one roll, I tried two, I tried one big roll. Um, it takes a little bit of trial and error to figure out what works with your baby and your Maytai. I'm going to roll this twice because that part worked pretty well for me. And I'm going to tie it really high right under my chest in a nice tight double knot. Okay. The other thing about using a Maytai with a newborn is that it's pretty wide. So if I put my newborn in this, her legs would have to stick practically straight out the sides to be legs out. Her, um, the space, like the space between her knees is about the width of my hand. So I want the carrier to really be about the width of my hand. So I'm going to cinch it. Um, sometimes you can just kind of cinch it like this and it'll hold. You can also take a little string or something else, a, a like really long receiving blanket or anything. I couldn't find a string so I'm going to use a pipe cleaner. This works too. And just kind of tie it around the base of your carrier. I'm going to get it so it's about the width of my hand. And I'm going to tuck that up under the band just so it doesn't poke her. A string would be better than a pipe cleaner, but that's all I have, so we'll have to do. Alright, so at this point I'm ready to pick up my baby. I've got it a good height for her and a good width for her. Hey, little lady. Alright, so I'm going to hold her to my chest. And your goal when you're wearing a newborn is really just not to disturb their position they naturally take. So a newborn, you hold them to your chest, this is how they, they go. They make a little M shape with their knees. They kind of tuck and curl against you, turn their head to one side. You basically just want to get the carrier to go right around them in their natural position. So I'm going to bring this panel up over her. Let her little foot just kind of come right out the side. All you really see here is going to be her foot, not her whole leg sticking up. And I'm going to bring the straps up nice and snug. Now, depending on your Maytai, you may find there's a little bit of gapping here when you pull the straps up. If that's the case with your Maytai, um, you can take a receiving blanket and put it in there for a little head support, and I'm going to go ahead and show how to do that really quickly, too. Oh, sorry, sweetie. So I've got a little receiving blanket here. I'm going to make a little roll. That's going to be like a neck support. And when I pick her up this time, I'm going to put that at the back of her neck, and then let this kind of sit in between us and the panel. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so now I've picked her up, I've got this little bit of neck support here, and I'm gonna try bringing up the panel one more time. Get that little leg just kind of foot out. Okay, so now I've got a little bit less gapping um, at the side here. Get that little foot out. Sorry, baby. Okay. So now I'm going to reach behind me, I'm going to hold her body up so her, her head is right below my chin. I'm going to reach back and pull the strap straight down to snug up, and then across my back, closing off the gap here at the side. Same thing over here, straight down, that keeps it from creeping up on your neck, and then over to the side. And now from here, the carry can just be tied off under the bum, but you want to make sure to close off this side gap before you tie under the bum. So one thing you can do is tie behind the back, just so you remember to close off that side gap and then slide it under the bum, tie a double knot there. This carrier has plus size straps, they're really long, so I'm actually going to take them across her body in sort of an X, tuck under this little leg here, 
and then across this way into the neck, sorry baby, under that little foot and tying the back. Um, and so now we can do a safety check because um, when you're adapting carrier for a newborn, you just want to kind of make sure you got all of the safety points. So I'm going to take a look at her. She, um, she wants to nurse, and we're going to show how to nurse in a little bit. She's not that well supported right here. I see how I can push her against me a little. So I'm actually going to snug this up a little bit. I can take the top edge here, pull it out over my shoulder to snug it. I'm going to move this neck support down a little bit. There we go. All right. So that's a little better. So I'm going to do a check. I can get two fingers under her chin. It's hard for you to see because of where the main tie top is falling. But I can easily fit two fingers there. I can see her entire face very easily. She's snug and well supported. If I push against her, she's not moving closer toward me. If she's moving closer to me, I need to snug up and get it a little bit tighter. And I can kiss her head very easily. She's not very low. All right, so if your baby wants to nurse in this, you can nurse a newborn in a May time. Um, what you need to do first is loosen up these cross straps. So I'm gonna loosen those. I'm gonna to start to sort of slide down a little bit. I'm gonna loosen them a little bit more. I usually just kind of pull up the knot. It gets a little slack. All right, and then with a newborn, I like to take it to the side I'm gonna nurse on to nurse. So let's say I was gonna to go to this side. I'm gonna bring this one over here. So it almost looks like a hip carry, except I haven't really changed her position. And now I, I have pretty good coverage for nursing. It's pretty discreet. And I can reach in and get her latched on pretty easily. So I'm here. Hello. Um, so you can just reach in, um, get your baby latched on, kind of aim up. Hey, hey. Um, and then you're nursing in a May time. That's maybe not hands-free, especially with a newborn. Um, but it is, it does work. When you're done nursing, you always, always need to come back to your original position. So I would bring her back centered, lift her back up, snug up all of my straps. I probably would even redo these shoulder straps just to make sure she's nice and supported. Um, you always want to reposition after you nurse, even if you feel like, you know, you might be disturbing your baby to do that. Um, it's really very important that they're really well supported, especially if they're falling asleep nursing. You want to have them nice and snug. And then do your check again. Two fingers under the chin, you can see them, you can kiss them, um, and they're nice and snug and well held against you. So there you go, newborn Maytai. Say bye.